Good morning, class. Welcome to our first online session. Today we'll be continuing with linear equations, which is just a fancy name for lines on a graph. Do now. Which ordered pair is on the graph? Remember, last week we learned that linear equations have the form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept, m and c. For example, the graph on the right shows the linear equation 3x minus 1. The gradient is 3x and the y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Remember, we write negative 1 as a point. 0, negative 1. We can see the y-intercept because the line touches the y-intercept at the point 0, negative 1. But what exactly does the gradient mean? Gradient. Gradient tells us how steep something is. The gradient can be negative if it's going down, it can be zero if it's flat, or it can be positive if it's going up. Slope can also be undefined. A straight vertical line has an undefined slope. Think about it. If he was turned vertically, would he be able to climb the bike straight up? No, this is called an undefined slope or gradient. Slope is another word for gradient. Example one. You can find the gradient by the graph. We use the rise over run method. It calculates the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates. You can choose any two points on the line. For this example, we will choose this point to the next point over here. To get from this point to the next point, I have to go up 1. This is the rise. Then I have to go over 2 units. This is the run. So the gradient of this line is 1 over 2. Example 2. Again, I can choose any two points on the line. I'm choosing this point and this point. To get from this point to this point, I have to go down 4 units and then over one unit. The gradient of this line is negative four because I went down, I did not rise, so I use negative, and I over one. Negative four over one equals negative four. On your own, find the gradients of the following graphs. Example 3. You can use the gradient formula to find the gradient of a line. Again, you can choose any two points on the line. The first step is to label the points x1, y1, and x2, y2. Then we substitute this into the formula. The formula states y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, we have found y2 to be 3 and y1 to be 2. x2 is 3 and x1 is 0. Therefore, substituting into the formula gives us 3 minus 2 and 3 minus 0. 
Therefore, the gradient of a line with these two points is 1 over 3. Example 4. Find the gradient between the points negative 2, 3, and 5, 4. First, I label the points x1, y1, x2, y2. Then I substitute into the formula 